This is one of the big ones. Ooh, slow down. Today, we're back at Deer Valley. Target was the big fish using big flies. And third cast went to a big one. Let's hope he stays on. Put a saddle on the back of this one. This is what we come for. Absolute clunk of a fish this is. I'm hoping this one don't come off. So I'm one of Andrew Bufton's OSG Blue Flash Snakes. I don't think he's actually advertised them yet. A few select people have had them. And it's the first time you're using it, so fingers crossed. We know a nice photo of this now. Ooh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Big fish, big fish, big fish. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Oh, that's a clonker. That is a big, big, big fish. Absolute beauty. We'll keep him in the water now because uh, the owner I've said um, any big fish, um, he's welcome for him to go back. So, quick photo of this one and uh, she's going back. Nice one. Flies out nice. in the net. Eight, nine pound fish, easy that is. Nice fish. I'll put him back in the net now and uh, let him recover. Nice one, bud. Thanks. Look at that for the fish. That's a good nine. Could be ten pound that fish. I'm going to take my time with this now. He can get his breath back and then he can go away then. Absolutely stonking fish that is. We're back. A day fish, big fish water up in Aberdeen. Um, I didn't have a chance to do an intro. Couldn't help myself but get uh, the new snake flies out. New OSG snake damsel from Mr. Bafton. The tough bargain flies. Very good. So, uh, gentleman over there just helped me bring that fish in here. I'd say easy 8 to 10 pounds. Absolute stonking fish, really thick, wide fish. Uh, couldn't help himself. Um, first cast, I had a big bow wave chase. Second cast, he nailed it. Um, I hope I got a lot of it on the, on the record. Um, so, target today is go big or go home. And we've done it already, so target achieved. Um, got a float in line with me as well today, uh, which I was using a stalking bug. So I'm hoping as soon as the, the wind dies off a little bit and get the polar eyes on and hopefully see a few fish um, and hopefully stalk the fish as well so be a bit more selective but target was today a nice big rainbow or a big brown and that's what we're using the big, the bad, the ugly <laughs> come on in back next we've got a fast sink in tip line it's going right out there in the wind. It's going up underneath my arm. On a roly poly straight away. I've got a few bow waves. I had one bow wave straight away before that fish. And then I had another bow wave straight after and he smashed it. So um, don't be afraid to go big. Like I said previously, don't be afraid to hang our fly. Hang the fly as well. I think I've got it caught up on a feather or something. Here's me, I'm lost for words. Feather, There's a bit of weed even. 
That is it. Nice big snake. OSG damsel from Mr. Buff Dunn. I'm wearing a Taff Bar Guide Fly hat as well today. So I think that's giving me a bit of luck. So let's get into some fish. Another fish to the snake. Ooh, now he's woke up. I had the fly hanging in the water. I was watching a gentleman down there. He's uh, hooked into a big fish. And this is a reasonable fish as well. Come in and absolutely smashed it out of my hand. I think he knows he's been knocked, this one. Whoa. Bit of a tangle, yeah, come on. Up again. Using the bigger fly has uh, certainly paid off today. I haven't had, I've had one smaller fish, which was on the on an orange, uh, like a what's it pattern it's called, under an indicator. And I've been stripping this uh, snake most of the morning now. There's lots of fish up on the surface. It's good fish this is, I think it's about six pounds this one. So. Nice dark fish this is. Oh, he don't want to come in. He's hanging on. Big, big paddle tail. Oh, it's another clonk in fish, this is. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Yes, we've done it again. We've done it again. Look at that absolute bruiser in here. That's another eight pound plus fish, that is. on the new OSG snake pattern. I'm not gonna mess about getting this one out of the water. Um, he is a little bit smaller than the last fish. Um, last fish went eight to 10 pound, I'd say 10 pound. This one's another seven plus fish. So let's get him back. Good being too eager with these. Give them as much time as you can. Giving up a good fight. In plenty of time to get it to recover. But that absolute stonking fish has. That's another seven, seven to eight, I'd say that. The last one I had was a good. Here we go. Here we go. The other one I had was a good eight to ten. I'll be conservative and say nine, but he was a good fat fish, but yeah, well happy with that. Big old SG snake on a roly poly. Um, say I'm not messing about, if these fish want to chase, big fly, big fly, big fish. Just keeping an eye on anything coming in, because that one literally smashed me right on the end of the reeds there when I went looking. So. I'm probably like a broken record when I say always let that fly hang, but proof's in the pudding, it works. So, I'm trying to get a long line out. These fish just seem to have been pushed out a little bit. Um, still lots of fish moving, but they seem to be taking something that well. So, um, big blue we're after. Big blue would be nice. Oh, big fish just turned on Alan. Big, 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 big fish. Oh. Oh, 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 
big, big fish. I was on, on a roly poly. You can see. You might think it's too fast, but don't worry about it being too fast. Just always let that, fish, that fly hang. So that was another fish I chased all the way in to take that fly then. Um, just working, just working the water like a clock face again. Not letting the fly sink, because I got a fast sinking line. So the fly is actually coming in the water, I don't know, I'd say a good 10 inches down, just from the sink tip. So. Lots and lots of insect activity on the water. So it won't take these fish long to, to fill up. Lots of insect dragonflies. They seem to take into gnat those quite quick. Um, but see, we're here solely trying for big fish today. So, and we've had two. Um, so, great success so far, fingers crossed, we'll get a couple more now. a nice long line, nice long line of the weeds. Hopefully there's some fish laying in there in ambush waiting to come out. See the big snake? It'll come out and smash it. It's another quick session done, down in Dare Valley again. Lived up to his name today. Come back with different tactics to norm what we normally fishing with, and we absolutely smashed it. I think it was about the fifth cast, moved about the way, had a fish, I'll say eight pound, between eight to ten pound, but it was definitely a big, thick fish. I'd have said more ten pound. A um, few other fish then, uh, the, the stock that I was catching was far better today. Um, they were all sort of three and a half to four pounders um, under the indicator. And I switched back to the new OSG snake fly again and <laughs> stripping, stripping in. And without uh, noticing, I was looking at another gentleman a bit further down. He looked into a fish and without out of nowhere, rainbow come up and smashed the fly off the top of the surface. Uh, and that went about seven, eight pound. I like to put the bigger ones back. Uh, it's nice to see them go back. So thanks again for watching. Let's take a little from the belly. <laughs>